I decided to buy it. Oh, no, this was used. Uh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have a haul video. I had to film a haul today. This is the second video I'm filming in the new house, in the new space. I just filmed this look, so this will be up as well. I don't know which one before and after. Y'all know how it is in the YouTube space. Hauls are easier to edit, so those normally come up pretty quick. But I have some other products that I want to show you on how I got this look. Another video. But I took a little trip. Ugh. Did a little damage, of course. They had anywhere from 30 to 50% off plus an additional 15% off. So you guys know I had to go buy... The cosmetics company store they can be hit or miss i lucked up so i cannot wait to show you everything that i picked up before i get into the video you know the drill if you're new please hit that subscribe button join the family we are growing i love and appreciate all of you guys we do a lot of hair nails skin lots of makeup lots of hauls if you've been here a while you know how much i love to shop especially when i find a good sale so if you think you're going to be into that Please hit that subscribe button and join the family. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see what I picked up in my haul, stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're going to start off with some products that I bought for the house. And you guys said that you did like to hear <laughs> prices, so yeah let's just make a fool of ourselves right now i got a big head this still has some extra room but i'm going to tell you the prices of the products that i bought and how much i saved so i picked up two joe malone diffusers these are expensive and i love these in the house i have one in my beauty room i have one in the bathroom i have one in my office i want to put one in the guest room i like them in the bathroom they just scream lux to me and I'm bougie on a budget you know you gotta get the fancy stuff but you gotta get it on sale because these retail for hundred and five dollars a piece I don't know why one was hundred and five the other was hundred and ten I got blackberry and bay which is one of my favorite cologne scents so when I saw this I was like oh now the house gets to smell like it so I don't know what room that's gonna go in but then I also got silk blossom do I have this I have Scarlet Poppy. I feel like I have this. Hold on. Okay, never mind. I thought I had this in the perfume, but I did not get this in the perfume. I have Red Hibiscus or something Hibiscus and Scarlet Poppy. But anyway, so Silk Blossom was $105, maybe because this is an older one. I paid $44.63 for it. So definitely, definitely worth it. And then the other was 110 I paid 46.75. They do also give you the reads for these, so I definitely think that that was worth the money by itself. Next, I picked up a Tom Ford fragrance. Anytime I see these at the cosmetics company store, if I like the smell, I'm going to get them. Y'all know Tom Ford is so expensive and this is no different. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce size it's 225 dollars originally i got it for 95 dollars and 63 cents this is a warm floral which is the scent that i tend to gravitate towards and of course it's purple so i think it'll look beautiful on my vanity already made space for it i did put my perfumes out um but i just think this is so gorgeous absolutely beautiful i do wish this was purple and silver instead of gold this smells so good. I put it on in the store. I walked around and I had to make sure. I do know they also have a black orchid or something like that, but I didn't like that one as much. This smells so good. I want to put it on. I have another one in here though. I'm going to put this one on this side. I do have something on though. I'm wearing Fleur Missing Person right now. And I like it. It's just not strong enough. I want my smell to linger. 
So when I smell good and I walk by, you're going to smell me when I'm passing and it's going to stay behind. That's how I want my smells to knock you out. So I feel like Tom Ford fragrances last on the skin a really long time. And like I said, 60% off, perfect time to pick one up. I also picked up another one, if I can find it. I thought I picked up two. Oh no, just one Tom Ford. The other one, this is a brand I hadn't tried before. This is Erin, A-E-R-I-N. This is their Amber Musk. I love Amber, one of my favorite scent notes. And they didn't have the fragrance by itself, but they had this whole kit. And this was $165. The bottle of perfume by itself was $200. And so I was like, this whole set, $165. I'm paying $70.12. And I got the fragrance, a travel size. Girl, take your time. I always drop stuff. Have y'all noticed that? Anyway the perfume a travel size and the lotion so i was like yep just going to give me that i don't need the big bottle but i do think if i can get this out i love this bottle too and i love this is like a kind of opal stone this color right here is perfect for the decor in my house so i'm going to probably put this one in my bedroom on my dresser i have a purple mirror tray and i think this would look so good on that I might have to get a different mirror tray though just to keep the aesthetic of the neutrals but yeah i smelled this in the store and i absolutely loved how it smelled hold on yeah she's still that girl i need to find the notes let me do that real quick so i can tell you what it is i didn't even realize they sell these at sephora so this is what size bottle is this 1.7 fluid ounces so 1.7 fluid ounces at Sephora is $145. So I got this whole set for $165. I think I did very well. Plus all the money off paying 70 bucks. Yeah, we hit the jackpot. So this says it is a warm inviting scent. It just says in warm inviting and cozy. Coconut water, rose centifolia, ambrox, benzoin, and musk. It also has some sandalwood. I do smell that. Yeah, that's about it. Anyway, very warm. I feel like these are going to be perfect for the fall. Of course, I would wear them anytime. But like I said, super excited to have the gift set. And the gift set, I got way more product for the money that I spent. And I got it at a discount. Next, I picked up a hair product. This is the Aveda Damage Remedy Intensive Restructuring Treatment. I'm pretty sure I've picked this up at the CCO before, but anytime, like I said, extra sale off. I've been trying to do better in case y'all haven't noticed. I just cut my hair a few days ago. The length was there, but I've been wearing a lot of ponytails and I started having some breakage in the back. So I was like, just cut off whatever you need to make it look even make it look fuller and I don't know what she put in my hair but this is post squat day all the bottom of it was sweated out and my hair just still feels really soft a lot of body this is four weeks post relaxer so got a little bit of new growth showing but she just worked her magic my hairstylist is Jalila her Leela styles is her Instagram I'll put it on the screen as well so if you're in the Atlanta area you might want to check her out but this conditioner, if I can figure out where she's at on this coupon, this might be it. Because it's, yeah, damage remedy treatment, 150 mils. Yes, this is it. This was $55. I got it for $23.37. So I didn't realize it was that much. That's why I was like, that can't be what that is on the receipt, but it is. So I know Aveda products are really good, so I'm not mad about it. Um, but I'm just trying to work back into doing my treatments, making sure my hair is, she said I needed more moisture and more protein. So I'll be working that in my routine. Next, I always pick up when I can find them. This is the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer. Did I get the wrong thing? I sure did. I thought this was my triangular one. Ugh, it is. It's the tiny little brow pencil from Too Faced. Yeah, see, that's why I thought it was that. This does not have that, it's pointy, 
and it's small but it's kind of I feel like you can't see that it's angled a little bit so it's not it's still skinny I guess I thought it was my other pencil but it's not but it's fine I like these I like the pomade one too they have a pomade pencil but this says it's long wearing and smudge proof and waterproof which I absolutely need for the gym so I always pick up brow products when I can find them and this was I know she charged me yeah 25 bucks and I got it for ten dollars and sixty three cents next I picked up a Mac love me liquid lip color I have more than one of these I absolutely love the formula so I picked up another one this is in the shade 497 feel me it is a liquid lipstick so it does dry down this is probably perfect for what I have on right now um, this is more of like that kind of peachy nude shade it looks very similar to what I have on right now so I'm not gonna try to put anything else but this is like my you can barely see that day-to-day -day, every day throw on a light brown put this on and it is my everyday nude so happy to get that and this one was $27 and it was $11.47 with the sale I went a little Mac heavy on this trip I picked up prep and prime their peach luster corrector this is not a concealer I had this when I first started wearing makeup it went bad I got rid of it and then I decided to bite it <gasps> no this was used oh I didn't even check it I have not used this and this is how it came out oh that makes me mad anyway it's just a peachy corrector and I do use this under my eyes or sometimes on my damn that pisses me off on my chin as well for any hyperpigmentation I have oh I'm trying to get over being pissed off right now because you cannot return these this is $30 I got it for $12 and 75 cents I'm gonna use it but that makes me mad next I picked up a Tom Ford traceless foundation stick I picked this up in 9.7 cool dusk I feel like I have a lot of foundations right now that are darker from the summer and so I wanted a lighter shade to wear for the winter this is supposed to be y'all I don't understand what is happening from now on I'm gonna open shit when I'm in the store because this pisses me off it looks like it's just from it being twisted up you can see it on the inside of the cap there I'm hoping but this shade I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it here you can see pretty much almost disappears into my skin so that is why I wanted it when I got it when I swatched it in the store I felt like that was gonna be the perfect shade for me knowing how I like to wear my foundation so that is gonna be one of my go-to shades for the fall and the winter pretty good match a little dark but that's how I wear my shades I almost forgot to tell y'all how much that one was that is a $90 foundation I got it for $38.25 I'm pretty sure all of my Tom Ford yeah all of my Tom Ford products have come from the CCO because I just don't see myself paying full price when I have a lot of other makeup and it all works really well like I don't know that I feel like there's anything about Tom Ford makeup specifically other than paying for the packaging and the experience that is better than anything else that I would pay full price for it that's just my opinion I like I like nice things but I like them better when they're cheaper so that's how that works up next I have this Mac Studio Fix 12 hour shine control primer it's called mattifying I have never tried this I'm not gonna open this right now because I do not want to actually oh well it's already like there's no protection or seal anything like that on it but it's supposed to be just a mattifying primer and I feel like during the summer I definitely need to have this so hadn't seen it before decided to just go ahead and grab it while I was in there this is $35 I got it for $14.88 so again over half off this is new 
for me. I did not know that Too Faced had a lip injections power plumping cream liquid lipstick. I know they have the um, lip glosses, but I didn't know they had liquid lipstick. So I picked this one up in the shade Give Them Lip. This, of course, is another nude. I went on this rampage for a little while where I was like, I'm going to buy these new products, but I'm going to buy them in bolder colors, reds, and all this other kind of stuff because you already have enough nudes, and then I don't wear them. So I'm going to stick with my nudes. But this is what she looks like, and I would not be surprised. Okay, it's a little bit lighter than the other one. I was about to say, I would not be surprised if it was the same shade as what I picked up earlier but this one is more pink and it is a lighter shade I'm curious to see if I'm gonna feel this tingling through the other products that helped lighten that up which is exactly what I wanted so I don't have a lot of other lip injection stuff I'm not big into that burn your lips kind of stuff so I don't normally pick those up but again a new product I hadn't seen and this was $28 and I got it for $11.90. So you wanna try something new? Why not try it when you can get it on sale? Next, I picked this up. This, I know I didn't need it, but I'm still one of those people who are like, ah, oh, nostalgia because I missed out on this in the beginning and it came back out. So this is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Y'all, this is Whisper of Guilt. I thought I was never going to be able to get this. I was able to find it one year during the holidays. They had a blush and a highlighter set and Whisper of Guilt was in that duo and I've held on to that forever. But now to have my very own in its own packaging, I just feel like, I know I don't need more highlighter on, but you know how that goes. The one I have on is pink, so I just want to just because this was like one of the most iconic shades of highlighter for a very long time and it was like if you don't have this do you even really do makeup are you even really that girl so I think this was just kind of like this is a FOMO moment because I did not get it when it first came out and now I get to have it so Super excited about that. And like I said, it's always hit and miss. I've never seen this in the store. So I'm definitely glad that I have it to add to my collection. This was $42 and I got it for $17.85. Next, I picked up a eyeliner. This is their Dual Dare All Day Waterproof Liner. I had one of these from Tarte and the pencil part of the liner dried out so fast. I was so mad. I never even got to use it. So I wanted to see how this one was going to work. This, I don't know if this is a brush tip. I didn't even look at it. I just picked it up. So let's see. It comes with a regular pencil black liner on one side. Very smooth, very black. And then it comes with a liquid liner she is felt tip Meh. not my favorite but also that drew on very nice and is very black so i'm not really going to put this in my travel bag just so i can have both whenever i'm traveling love two in ones for products like that also the price on that one 24 dollars. i paid 10 dollars and 19 cents i did also pick up some hair products if i haven't mentioned any yet i picked up the bumble and bumble hairdresser invisible oil ultra rich shampoo these are expensive this was 51 dollars. i also got the conditioner this was 53 dollars. i ended up paying 21.67 and 22 can't see 53 for these um again i was looking for something that is super moisturizing i feel like when I've been doing my hair the last few months, my hair just feels hard. It was breaking instead of just the normal shedding. Thankfully, it has stopped shedding. Girl, my edges, we were going through it. But now I know I have some moisturizing products, but I do plan on trying to get back into a better regimen of taking care of my hair, doing my deep conditioner, sitting under my steamer. Like I buy all the things I need to use them. So because this is so expensive i was like this is a good time to get it 
I don't have this. I might have the conditioner already, but I definitely didn't have the shampoo and I wanted to buy more from the line. I also picked up the Ultra Rich Hyaluronic Treatment Lotion. This was $47. I got it for $19.98. And this is for scalp to end nourishment, has hyaluronic acid and a six oil blend. And it says this is for dry to very dry hair. So this is what it looks like. I don't know why I thought this was a dropper. I just saw it and picked it up. But I think it says, how do you use this? For scalp, apply directly as a targeted treatment to nourish and finish. And then for regular hair, you just, it doesn't say when, it's a how. It's a multitasking leave-in. Work into damp hair and air dry or heat style or you can also smooth through dry hair to finish. So I like that you can use it at different times during the styling process so that way you can use it more often. If I didn't say that was $19.98, regular $47. I also picked up the deep conditioning mask by the brand. This was $45. This is only 7.4 fluid ounces. I'm gonna probably use this like four, maybe five times. I think is how many uses I'll get out of this. But I got it for $19.12 and also has a hyaluronic acid. So it's the same thing as the treatment, just thicker as a mask. I plan on putting this on and either sitting under my steamer or putting my heat cap on just so it can really penetrate the hair shaft and get this hair to where it's looking like this all the time because my girl did her thing. I need it to look like this all the time. Next, I picked up one of the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Washes. This is $27. I got it for $16.06. .06. So I like it too, and it only takes a little bit, and it works into a really good lather. It does kind of give me like that squeaky clean finish, which I don't normally love for my face. So I'll use this as a second cleanser after I use my balm to break up my makeup and then i'll go back over it with a moisturizing cleanser just to kind of get that squeaky feel off i don't know i don't love that anymore last two products i picked up this is also from mac i picked up two of their pigments i don't normally use pigments but these shades i don't know why just scream to me one is melon the other is blue brown now i will start with melon because i think i just swatched this and i was like this would be such a gorgeous shade to put on the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can swatch her without making a mess. Um, to put on the lid and give you just the most beautiful, I felt like it kind of looked duochrome-ish, which was another why I wanted to, reason why I wanted to pick it up. But I just feel like I never really got, oh, that is so pretty. It's gold, but it's given peachy gold goodness. I feel like it looked kind of duochrome for a second, but not anymore. And I don't wear a lot of gold. So maybe I got too excited about this. I feel like I heard people talking a lot about this, though. Wasn't this one of the popular colors? Y'all comment and let me know. I know blue brown was. And I feel like anytime I see a palette that has that shade in it or something similar, then I'm like, oh, I got to grab it because I love it. But this, I swatched it in the store and I was like, yeah, I need to have this pigment. I always have trouble saying that word. I don't know why. Y'all, this is so pretty. Definitely a duochrome. But the foil and just the reflect on this, like... They have a longwear paint pot called Bougie that is supposed to be kind of similar to this, but it doesn't have as much blue in it. It looks more like this as opposed to that blue and i picked that up thinking i was gonna get this and then i was pissed off but so probably pairing those two together is gonna look insane if i didn't say the prices on these i think i did they were the same price and it was ten dollars and 62 cents so i feel like it was worth it for that price last two things i picked up y'all i need to stop when i show y'all a tour of this room how many packs of press on nails I have, I need to stop. But if I find them on sale, because they're so expensive and I usually do them once, maybe twice a week, because if one pops off, I may pop it back on. I may switch to a whole nother pair. It depends on my mood. I found these Kiss 
limited edition. I don't know why, maybe these were around the holidays or what, but this is press on nails. One is in the shade Scaredy Cat and then the other one is Fabulous. So I think these were around, what you call that? Halloween. So this is like a green gold. You can see the kind of iridescence there. And this is like a purple blue. They're short, so I feel like I can wear these at any time. And these were only $4 at TJ Maxx. I just threw them in this box, in this bag, so I could include it because they were on sale. These normally run anywhere from $9 to $14. So $4, I'm going to need to put it in the bag. All right, guys. Well, that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all know I love sharing products that I find. If you have a CCO near you, please go check it out before you spend money on high-end makeup. They have a lot of stuff from like Estee Lauder, Too Faced. I saw some of the new chocolate palettes there. Tom Ford, a lot of stuff from MAC, Origins. They have skincare, Clinique. Just go check it out. It is definitely worth it. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,